So we are currently at Vista for the scrutineering of Hero Challenge 2 2023. So this is the second in the Hero Challenge Championship and the, the three events throughout the year are for beginners and intermediates. We're doing all the three challenges this year. Um, we loved the one day events, yeah. although we really enjoyed the summer trial. Uh, the weather was a bit iffy, but um, no, just can't wait for it. My daughter and I, we did the Rally for the Ages and loved it so much that we thought we'd come back and have another go. So we're novices at this sort of level of event. You should see an arc of, of sort of competition throughout the three events. So the first one will be quite basic, um, some competition, and then you'll just see a slight step up for the second one, that's this one, and hopefully then another step up for the third one. A good event, there's 85 cars and uh, a lot of good crews here again, so we could end up anywhere, but uh, we'll try our best, we we'll like to be competitive. We thoroughly enjoyed it, so <laughs> we're going to give it give it another go. No, we love it, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have time to do more. <laughs> um, I got asked last week if I could navigate for um, Steve, so I'm just uh, coming along to help him out, really. Just get my head around the time, timing again and the, um, not going the wrong way. <laughs> this is usually one of the problems. His job is not getting lost. My job is making sure that we keep it on the road. I like the fact that it's a one-day event. and I just took part in the Bob Rutherford Scholarship. That was great fun, a great day. And I'd love to do lots more rallying. Um, with dad and with anybody else that I get the opportunity to and do some bigger and better events. It's a good event to, to bring uh, young co-drivers from the continent to learn in this system in the hope that we can come together later on the bigger events like the test or the chart or other things. So that's, uh, that's the, main, uh, the main idea. And have a nice weekend for us. I normally do these with my wife. Um, she broke her elbow recently so obviously she can't do it. And Henry's my second wife. Yeah, and I've got an offer I've gone with you. <laughs> We've done a couple now. It's just the uh, good or organisation and uh, it's good fun to meet some friends and uh, enjoy the day. Um, I'd like to do well, uh, maybe. Top 20, that's what we're hoping for, David. Let's, let's be honest. That's what we're hoping for, but we'll see if it happens. <laughs> but we're only out for a leisurely drive. We're not going to be competitive, so no, we'll be fine. We've had a brake switch fail and uh, we've got, just got a replacement so hopefully everything should be alright. The wheel sensor's failed so we're not getting any readings on the barrettes. So we're going to put a new probe on and hopefully that should cure it. If not we're navigating by the seat of our pence tomorrow. <laughs> We love Hero Event, a uh, chance to give a new car, I've run out today, so we've got a Saab 96, first event for it. No idea how it's going to behave, I've not driven it competitively before, and uh, there are some really good crews out here, so just good opportunity to come and have a run out. I wanted to go rallying again, but um, the stage events for a car like this would probably be a bit, little bit too rough. So this is ideal for kind of navigation and with the test thrown in, uh, it makes it a bit more exciting. I haven't done one of these for two, two years. years and I can't remember anything. <laughs> I, so think I think I'm writing the right numbers in the time card. But it'll, be be fine. it'll be fine. Dad and son day out and it'll be fine. We'll have a good time and be no problem at all. As long as he goes fast enough on the test. Yeah, he'll always be telling me to go fast. Well, I keep coming back just for the little bit of competition. It's friendly as well, it's good, you know, it's good we're out using our old cars, so, uh, but yeah, it's a little bit of competition, uh, keep the grey matter ticking over. I've been an engineer all my working life since the mid-70s, and I just love old cars, I just ever, love everything about, particularly British cars, British, old British cars, is what I do, do enjoy most. I love of rallying, that's what it's all about. It's a passion, isn't it? It's really good fun. I think we needed more practice as well. Yeah. And things went wrong on the summer trial, so we thought, well, before the end of the year, we ought to have. We ought to have another go at another it. Another practice and get it, get it get it right this time. <laughs> oh, we've done several of the hero challenge ones, haven't we? Yeah, we you have. Know, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Thoroughly enjoy it. Not quite sure what we're doing on a boiling hot day, sat in a six-year-old car with no air conditioning, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, it's a hero rally for a start, and they're always, always good fun. I'm with John today. He's navigating, and it's going to be a little bit interesting today, a little free sort of excitement going through it, because his son is also sitting in the navigator's seat uh, in another MGB, so really looking forward to seeing what the outcome of this one is. What is it? Is it father-son rivalry? Yes, I think perhaps there is a little bit of that going on.
Yeah, well, the car was holding in uh, from time to time, and um, that came more and more. And uh, well, it's apparently a fuel pump that is uh, losing all power, so uh, engine is not getting enough uh, fuel, and uh, we have to change it. But unfortunately, we don't have a spare one with us, and we're looking now with the guys if they have one. Uh, if we don't find another spare, uh, another fuel pump, unfortunately, it will be the end of the rally. Yeah, I'm afraid. We've hit a snag on this last one, we've hit a couple of bad bumps and it looks like we've done a hydroelastic displacer. So we've got no suspension on the near side. So it's now on tarmac spec on the right left side and forest spec on the right side, sitting at a rare angle. But we'll keep going, but we're not sure whether we'll make it to the end today. Hopefully we will. It's been okay so far, so we're on Hero Challenge 2 and so it's slightly more complicated than the, the Challenge one, there have been a few nice little tr tricky bits where my father's driving today and he said, well, Are you sure? And I said, That's what the trip says, we're going that way. And fortunately, we were correct and we've been pretty much on time. So, yeah, good morning. Yeah, your right time's on the board over there, and that's the time you need to be with Eve. Thank you so much. Yeah, really, really good morning. I think we were third this morning at Morning Coffee. So amazing, Natasha's had a, a real result. Maps were challenging, so we'll have dropped back there, but tests were really, really good. I'm glad I was car two at the first one this morning because it was very dusty. I did a handbrake on the first test and then couldn't see where I was going, but the, the cart track was just amazing. It was, yeah, brilliant, really, really good, and you all feel like Nigel Mansell at the end of it. The cart track was fabulous, wasn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you said at the end of it. <laughs> no, but I was, I was glad to be alive, that was the main thing. <laughs> Tests were quick, we were quick, we were tidy, a bit tidier than the first test, so yeah, I think we're okay. We'll let right. you know in an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> because I had the gravel tyres on it from last week, and Thursday night I had a change of heart and put road tyres on it, which was a wise move. Yeah, otherwise we would have been sliding around doing anything, I think, but uh, nah. Very good, very good. It's been all, all been good, all been good. We've had a morning of exploring all the wrong roads of Oxfordshire, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Nearly went down a dead end to a church. Very close. <laughs> we were we, told we should go there. We uh, yeah, yeah. spoke to a local who said, this is, in my opinion, the best church in England. You really must go and visit it. And he was blocking the road that we needed to use. <laughs> well, we thought we might be doing OK, but we got stuck behind a horse box that pulled out in front of us at one mile an hour, then stopped for three minutes to get past a car. So uh, that uh, completely ruined that reg up for us. But other than that, we've done all right. Backwards is where we're going, I think. Um, you never know, we've got a test and two regularities this afternoon. I might just sort of get myself off the hook, but I don't think so. We get a joker now, I understand, so that will have to be the joker. So uh, we can't have any more problems. Yeah, 
Okay, go. Hot, dusty, and quite enjoyable. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been all right. It's been all right. Different sort of car. And, um, yeah, as he says, pretty hot and dusty, but nice. Rally was really, really good. Bit frustrating at the end, but we're still talking, and we're going to do Hero Three. So yeah, it's a good, it was a good event today. The last test today, back at Bill Gwynn's Rally Centre. That was really good fun, that was, because we knew what we were doing then, and we could get into the groove and go quite quick. The tests have gone really well, just slipped up a bit on the map, but we're very happy otherwise. Uh, lunch, we were 31st after morning coffee being third, so I dropped back. But we knew we would because the maps were hard. I hate maps, and uh, the, the crossroads that didn't look like a crossroads because it wasn't a crossroads, <laughs> we went wrong. So we ended up in the front of the car in front and then we're chasing time and then kind of since then it's just been downhill all the way but we've had fun it's been great and it's just interesting to see how the mindset works on the rally organizers and they they threw the curveball in on the last reg and it worked so yeah happy with that paul Bosley and i haven't rallied together for about uh, five or six years so we thought we'll do a, a nice uh, one day rally for a bit of practice till we get used to each other again and this has just been super. Uh, we're in Heroes Mini and uh, a well prepared car and we've had a, a great day. Uh, we always enjoy ourselves, it's just, you know, all of those moments. Great route. Yeah, the team put together a great route and some nice little tests just to wake your whistle, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Oh, it's been fantastic. Getting lost is brilliant, <laughs> but finding a way is even better. Yep. Yeah, we've enjoyed it a lot. It was good route, had lots of different kind of navigation styles and that, so it was a good test. And yeah, I think we've done fairly well. It was going very well until we met a very large tractor that we couldn't get on the wheel. But apart from that, it's gone pretty smoothly the rest of the day. The ride's gone really well. We had a, a great morning. And this afternoon, we didn't make any schoolboy errors, so you know, we've done even better this afternoon. My new navigator, John, is, uh, is hoping that we've done rather better than his son, who's in the other MGB and navigating. My son's navigating, I've been navigating for Ken, so it's a challenge, isn't it, to see whether it's father or son. Well, we won the first of the challenges this year, which was a bit unexpected, and we weren't planning to do the three. We've had a mixed day. Um, it wasn't looking too good this morning, um, but then it wasn't looking too good on the last challenge in the morning. Um, I think we pulled it back a little bit with the tests, because uh, the car's really good on the tests. Um, and we had a better afternoon, but I think on the log, long reg this afternoon we might have dropped a bit too much time. So uh, we'll wait and see what the results show. We only lost, um, I think it was 15 money in the end because of the joker system. And, but yeah, we normally would have got a two or three, so maybe you know, we might finish on it. But, well, but hey-ho, yeah. ifs and buts. Yeah, well, they bring on the ifs and buts. We enjoyed it. We weren't really looking too much at the standings at all, so we felt we had a quite a solid day. So we were delighted to come as, uh, uh, as high as we did, so it was great. Well, we came eighth last time we did it, and we thought, well, maybe we'd done a bit better. But yeah, we had no idea we'd done as well as we had. So we're absolutely, and it's my birthday as well. So it's a wonderful present. <laughs> I think if you looked at how many zeros we got, we probably got one, I think, but all the others were sort of one second, two seconds. Some things did go wrong, but we managed to catch up and fortunately the um, timing points were in the right places. This is my stand-in navigator, and I have to apologise to the regular navigator who now will have to be... <laughs>